Hi everyone, it's Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Thank you for taking the time to stop by my YouTube channel today. Um, this might end up being a two-part video because I have this big whopper to unbox. It's a 20-pound lot of mixed costume jewelry I got from a shop, Goodwill.com auction. And I've never gotten a jewelry box this big. I've gotten a few of the 5-pounders, 7-pounder, I think maybe a 12-pounder. But this one's a whopping 20 pounds, so it might take two or three videos to get through it all. I'll have to see. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so a lot of these online auctions have been going for crazy amounts of money, and a couple of the ones I've won, I just have not been happy with the quality. So I kind of had stopped bidding on these mix lots for a while, but then I've seen people on YouTube doing unboxings of like 15 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. I think I saw somebody had like 38 pounds. That's like... Man, that'd be kind of fun. So, I keep looking on the various sites. And this lot looked like it might be pretty good. And, oh, I don't have the invoice with me. I think I ended up getting this for $76. But I don't remember if that was including shipping. So, I'll have to look that up to see what my price was. So the first item we have, this big sparkly pink acrylic rhinestone stretchy band bracelet. That's fun. Sometimes I worry about these stretchy bracelets on these older pieces. Um, the elastic starts to give out. It gets kind of brittle and start stops being elastic. So this one's in pretty good shape. So otherwise I probably put it into a craft lot. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough room to put all this stuff. We'll see. And this is packed pretty well. It's not just all in a single jumble. Or I should knock on wood. I'm probably jinxing myself. This is all in a separate baggie. I wonder if that's all earrings. Looks like smaller pieces. That's kind of nice, maybe to prevent tangles. There. And the re one of the reasons why I bid so much on this box, I saw quite a few pieces of rhinestone jewelry. Uh, so, you know, I have to go through to make sure all the rhinestones are here on all the pieces before I actually list anything for sale. This one looks pretty amazing. It's like a big rhinestone collar and it's got some fuzzies on it. <laughs> oh goodness. Like um, the stuffing for stuffed animal. Don't see any maker's marks on it, but silver tone, lobster clasp, loads and loads and loads of rhinestones. Yeah, that'd be a chucker necklace, so I have to figure out a different setup. See, I like having all these display pieces here, the neck boards and the rings and everything, but then it doesn't give me a lot of room to, like, if I want to measure stuff. <laughs> so, six of one, half a dozen of the next. I'll probably list most of this for sale on... My eBay store, I've got eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark, but I think eBay is where I'm selling all the costume jewelry. My Poshmark store is mostly for like clothes and scarves. Etsy is more for my craft supplies and items that I make myself, like some of my beaded macrame jewelry. So each platform where I sell is a little bit different. 
there are a few pieces that I've cross-listed. Like I just tried my first thread up, um, 10 pound DIY fabric lot, which was all clothing. And, um, that's a video that's coming up within the next week or so. I got a Ann Taylor faux fur jacket in that lot. And so I put it both on Poshmark and eBay. So we'll see if there's any interest. Yeah, I forgot. I could put the bracelets up here too. This is this kind of burlappy linen T bar display I got from JPI display. It's about 12 inches long, so you put both necklaces or bracelets, so multifunctional. Yeah, here's another rock. So, ooh, that's pretty. It's the clear rhinestones, but with the AB coating, so very sparkly and rainbowy, and it's got kind of solid round rhinestones and these little flower patterns. Um, ooh, let's see if I can clean that. Um, very kind of dirty. This, I wonder if it's real copper. This might be real copper. That's why it's kind of getting that greeny color. Uh, looks nice from the front, but I'll have to see if I can clean this up because otherwise, whew, I don't think I'd want to sell that. Kind of cruddy. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to unbox. Um, uh, I've got two gemstone lots, one kind of coastal shell mother pearl lot one ring lot and then I've got a bunch of craft supply lots coming because I want to you know a, a lot of these boxes I end up with like um gemstones or beads that are just loose or you know necklaces or bracelets that are kind of falling apart and I used to make jewelry years ago so I, I thought I'd try my hand at just making some simple bracelets and necklaces this is real nice this is a cameo it's, I guess, Mother of Pearl and a little portrait carved right into it. And this looks like cat's eye beads, glass, gray glass cat's eye beads and some sea beads with a little lobster claw clasp. That's real cool. So my coastal bundle that I'm going to be doing a video on, it's all like shells, Mother of Pearls. I'm going to be putting together um, a lot of jewelry that I'm going to call like mermaid core. <laughs> so that might be a good addition for that one. And my cat has just jumped up on the back of my chair. Cat? Seriously? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this cat's crazy. Say hello. Shadow, hello. Okay, I got to get her off there. What are you doing? You can't be there while I'm doing this. <laughs> Present. Like, Mom, pay attention to me. Ew, hair. Yuck. This one's probably going into crafting lot. Uh, it's kind of like a Christmas bracelet. These little sliding charms. Well, crafts or I've got a Christmas lot that I'm putting together and I've got children's jewelry lot that I'm putting together. I like to do these themed lots and sometimes I have to, it takes me a while to collect enough items to um, bundle these lots together. So I'll figure out what to do with that at some point. Here's another one I might put in my coastal bundle. Looks like Mother of Pearl Donuts. And uh, that's probably resin coated power shell, which is the same thing. Abalone, mother of pearl. It's not all the same. I don't know. <laughs> and these are little. Oh, are those real pearls or faux pearls? And some sea beads. A little spring ring clasp. Let's see. Take this earring one out. I don't know if I have any earrings in this bundle. And put this one here. That one's there. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is going to have to be a couple part video because 20 pounds. Woo! That's a lot of jewelry. I think there's some glass beads, kind of a mottled blue and amber color. There. With some seed beads, like size, what is that size? Six seed beads in between. And a spring rain class. Come on, camera. This is not have has not wanted to focus. Ugh. I wonder if I'm gonna get a bunch of tangles in here. I'm like, so far I don't have any tangles, and that's the kiss of death. You just jinxed yourself. <laughs> This is a multi-strand necklace, uh, plastic beads or acrylic beads with, oh, this feels like wood beads in between, <clears throat> silver tone, lobster claw clasp with an extender, I know some people doing these uh, YouTube unboxings, they kind of shout out the prices as they're going along. Um, I've only been doing this for like four or five, six weeks now. Less than two months. And um, still kind of learning as I go along. I'm, I'm not that comfortable shouting out prices yet. That's why I usually, at the end, you know... You can email me, sales at thecreativecottage.net, if you ever see anything in any of these videos you're interested in. Just let me know which video you're watching, the timestamp, the item, or items you're looking at, a brief description. But for the most part, I list this stuff on my eBay store in lots, unless it's like a really, really special piece. Like this rhinestone necklace, if all the rhinestones are there, I'll probably list that individually, but usually I'll put stuff together and bundles. Love me a bundle. So this is fun floral themed necklace. It's a uh, lightweight metal, black metal, a um, bunch of little flowers. It's like in good shape. So it looks like on the back, kind of this gunmetal colored chain. There, now it's focusing. Lobster clasp with an extender. Yeah, that looks cool. Light. I still struggle with these with the lighting while I'm doing these videos. I've got like three lights now, but still, it's like it's not enough light. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, this is a multi strand necklace. Looks like some faux gray pearls, some clear crystal beads, and some black beads, and some gunmetal colored chain. All twisted together or black chain uh, here it's got a lobster clock clasp and extender looks like there might be a little tag on here with a maker's mark let me get out my loop see if I can see who that is or not uh, oh that might be premier designs they've got that weird kind of stamp it's a symbol it's not words i think it's premier designs pretty sure How do you open this? This is cool. Black enamel and gold tone bangle bracelet. Little heart motif. But how the heck does it open? Uh, oh. 
There we go. The heart right there. Looks like it's got some writing on the band. Let's see if I can figure this out. Oops, upside down. It says Kate Spade, New York. New York, New York. I'm from New York, but not New York City. Mm -mm. I was born in Rochester, New York, and have only been to New York City about twice my entire life. So all my uh, non-New Yorker friends, anytime I say, I'm from New York, they're like, oh, how's that city? <laughs> I don't know. I've been there twice. <laughs> once when I was about 14 and once when I was about uh, 18 or 19. So I'm almost 60 now, so I don't know New York City from Adam. Nope. <laughs> then when I was 11, my mom remarried, and we moved to Lake Placid, New York, and the Adirondack Mountains, which is practically in Canada. But I moved to Florida in 91 because I'm not doing cold weather no more. Mm -mm. Thank you, you know. This is an awesome bracelet. Look at these little... Silver tone, butterflies, loaded with rhinestones, and kind of this peacock, iris, crystal beads, an elastic cord. Nice. So bracelets so far. Cool. Yeah, I really like this bundle. I Usually now, when I do bid on these bigger bundles, I usually, again, try to go for the themed ones, like, so for an all-gemstone lot. Like, I just won a three-pound all-gemstone lot and a five-pound all-gemstone lot. Um, I've won the gold and silver tone lots. And this one, it's not all rhinestones, but it's quite a few rhinestones. I just think when they're just all mishmashed, it's kind of, hmm, don't know if there's going to be anything, um, anything good. I've been getting a lot of junk. Got a couple of, um, got a five pound mix bundle. Not even going to say from where. I was really disappointed. Um, you know, it's a place that they don't always have them in stock and. I finally got the email. Oh, we got them back in stock. So I'm like, great. It was a mystery bundle, though. So I guess that was my own fault. Buyer beware. I didn't see any pictures of what they were going to send. It's just like, yeah, we're going to send you five pounds of whatever. And literally, it looked like they swept their floor and just filled up a box. It was filled with, like, um, those little individual dental floss things, the little picks. It was filled with just tons of those and just a bunch of crap. I think I ended up throwing out the whole bundle. I, I guess I should have contacted the, them, but I oh, just, I didn't know what to do. I had just started doing this and I was like, well, maybe that's normal. And I just got screwed. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't film it. I didn't do anything. And yeah, so lesson learned. Um, one of the recent videos I just did, it was all CB jewelry. Um, it was another shop Goodwill themed lot. They listed it as 5.4 pounds of beaded macrame jewelry, but I knew from the pictures because they used to make CB jewelry, it wasn't beaded macrame, it was CB jewelry. So, um, yeah, that was like an hour long video. Go back and watch it if you want to see everything in it. And although there were a lot of craft and broken items in that lot, I'm going to get like 16 of these little mini lots I'm going to be listing online. So I was really happy with it. Um, said I used to make this kind of jewelry myself. I don't anymore because um, yeah, my eyesight and coordination just aren't what they used to be. But I thought that was awesome. I love CB jewelry. I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah. So anyhow, that was like ABC Squirrel. <laughs> so here's a beautiful piece of CB jewelry. It's netted, kind of like a bronzy gunmetal color glass sea bead. And then they embellished it with these larger um, silver tone crystal beads. And it's just got a little beaded bead and loop for the clasp. 
still real nice. I haven't listed all my, I haven't listed any of the seed bead bundles online yet. Um, I just did the video. I'm just take, starting to take pictures, so I might be able to work this into one of the lots. I do see some finer chains, so hopefully they're not going to tangle me up too bad. If not, uh, I can always stop. Let's see. Oh, Leah Sophia. That's another video I just did. I do, um, I've got different playlists. One's for unboxing, like what I'm doing now. One's for jewelry supplies, like for the bags and the display pieces. And one playlist is Meet the Artist. Um... A couple I've done are Meet the Artist myself because I've got a lot of jewelry that I've made in the past. So this is Aaliyah Sophia. Um, I just did, I think I had like 18 pieces of her jewelry that I just did in a short video. So this is nice. I can add this to the most Leo Sophia collection. I think it's only like a 20 or 25 minute video if you want to go back and watch that one. Find out a little bit more about the Leah Sophia creations. And this is what I call Plastic Fantastic. It's graduated black acrylic beads with silver tone spacer on a silver chain, lobster clasp, and an extender. I guess the plastic does make it lightweight because if this... It was all glass or gemstone, it could start to get heavy, so for comfort, um, the acrylic is nice. Tangles. Here's more plastic fantastic. It's graduated oblong blue plastic beads with smaller beads in between on a silver tone chain, lobster clasp, and an extender. What the heck are these? I have a bunch of them. Are these bracelets? Uh, I've got three of these. No. What are they? I know I have big hands. I got a tiny wrist or smaller wrist, but really wide hands. Maybe most people could get these on for bracelet. I'm not quite sure what those are. They look like they could be bangle bracelets, but I sure as heck can't put them on. They're kind of cool. If nothing else, like I said, I'm going to start making some jewelry not the fancy sea bead stuff like i used to do that's those beads are too tiny just i was going to do some wire wraps on chains and then got a lot of gemstones coming in these would be cool pendants right i could just do like a lark's head knot with a cord or a chain and this could be a pendant you could even hang some additional beads from the bottom make some fringe you know i don't know if they're supposed to be bracelets or or what yeah, maybe most people could fit those on the wrist. Hmm. I can't. And here's some more plastic. Um, the red is plastic. The black, I believe, is glass. Faster the glass with some silver tone spacers. Just a little necklace. Um, this kind of, it's like what, that paper clip chain, silver tone paper clip chain with a lobster clasp, lobster claw clasp. Oops, if I can close it. Let's see. There we go. That's nice. If I was still working in corporate America, uh, it would be a nice piece for wearing to work. I mean, I guess I still do work in corporate America. It's just I've been working remotely from home since September of 2021. So I don't have to get dressed up anymore, even though I do Zooms almost every day. Um, it's basically casual wear. 
don't have to wear suits, no dresses, no skirts, no pantyhose, no heels. Um, yeah, save a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Here's a cute little piece. It's almost like a bow tie, uh, kind of like a metal mesh, antique gold metal mesh bow tie with rhinestone, a gold tone chain, or antique gold tone chain, lobster clasp, and extender. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. That's kind of fun. Running out of space. Yeah, this is definitely gonna have to be multi part. Um, well, I mean, 25 minutes and I haven't even made a dent. 20 pounds of jewelry. I don't know. The one lady I've been watching, oh, I forgot who her, what her name is on YouTube. She's been doing, a, I think, like a 35 pound bundle. I think she's on part nine. It's just it's so much jewelry. <laughs> So when you get a decent bundle, it's it's fun. But like I said, a couple of the bundles I've gotten were very discouraging in my beginning of my costume jewelry career. Yeah, I've been selling the jewelry I used to make for many years, or I used to do that. I did the craft shows and everything, fuse glass jewelry, CB jewelry. But I got out of it for a while, and I was like, well, I'm still interested in jewelry, and although I can't really make that much anymore, um... I just stumbled onto YouTube with everybody doing these jewelry unboxings, and I was just fascinated. Fascinated. And let me close my... There. Shades. I'm in a tiny one-bedroom apartment, and I've got southern exposure, so this time of day, the sun is just pouring in, and I couldn't see anything. Here's another plastic fantastic... This is really cool. It's got all kinds of silver tone. Um, that might be glass or... Yeah, that might be glass. But these are all plastic, acrylic, but fun. Look at all these different shapes. That might be glass. These are... I feel like they're hollow. I think that's glass. Ooh, look at that rhinestone one. That's glass, hollow. That might be some kind of stone. It looks like plastic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. On a silver tone chain, lobster claw clasp. It's different. On a black and white, goes with a lot of things. Nice. <laughs> Need to go get a bottle of water. talking too much. My throat's getting all scratchy. So I probably won't do more than, let's see, we're up to 28 minutes. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour max. And then I'll stop this video and and another day I'll have to do the rest. Uh, this I'm not sure what's going on. This chain is long enough to go over your head that you don't need a clasp. So maybe I'll just take this off. I don't know what this is supposed to attach to. Kind of antique silver tone clasp and then some beads and a little tassel. It says plastic, some silver chain. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you have that. <laughs> don't understand. Well, this is fun. This is all acrylic flowers with rhinestone centers. Um, chunky gold tone chain with the lobster clasp and an extender. And this almost looks like it could be like J. Crew, but I don't see any. Um, I don't see any tag with the maker's mark. So this is just generic, generic plastic, fantastic costume jewelry. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> mm.
Ooh. Yeah, now I'm getting into a section with a lot of chains. There could be a lot of tangles in there. We shall see. Yeah, what's this? This is all plastic, like pale green plastic. Might be a couple of glass beads in there, but for the most part, this is all plastic and the little chain, like the wire wrapping. Oops. And something's caught on it there. And it's very long, so it does not need the clasp. It will fit right over your head. And since it's so long, you could easily double it. This nice kind of peridot green and some emerald green. Be a nice piece for summer. It's lightweight. Wear that with a little sundress or beach cover up. Yikes. Ooh, what's this? Beautiful crystals, three strands of glass crystal beads with AB coating and these little rhinestone stations. Um, this one I might have to put into crafting though. This is what I say with the older, more retro pieces. Um, the elastic starts giving out and that's what's going on in this one. I'm afraid if I put it over my hand, it could possibly break and then I'm going to have beads everywhere. Yahoo! But it's real pretty, so I might just um, restring that or put it into a crafting lot. Oh. Yeah, I have quite a few bracelets in this lot. This, I think, is uh, glass beads on a copper color chain, and that's like the little, you know, wire wrapped loops that are all linked together. Faceted glass beads, kind of pink, purple, and bronze. Very sparkly. And it has lobster claw clasp and the extender. Don't see any maker's mark. Those are kind of my colors. I wonder if I keep that one. Hmm. No, I say I can't keep all the pieces I like because that's how you become a hoarder. Costume jewelry hoarder. I'll change my name. <laughs> it's a new show. Yeah, this looks like a rose quartz necklace bunch of rose quartz chips with pink sea beads, bead caps, glass bead, larger rose quartz, other glass bead and some larger trips and then they graduate to smaller sea beads and this is a antique silver tone toggle clasp. Almost looks like it could be sterling. It's just dirty. Could just be dirty. That's cool. It's another nice piece for summer. The color. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of lots of chains in here. Ooh, look at this sparkly blingy thing. It's the silver tone metal stations with three rhinestones and then Kind of crystal rondelle beads with AB coating. Kind of gray tone. Um, let's see. Yeah, the elastic on that one seems okay. Very nice and sparkly. Blingy. And I'm already filled up with bracelets. Wow. 
see, we're 35 minutes in. I'm gonna pick a point to stop. But then what do I do with all this jewelry? I guess I have to put away the first batch that I've undone. So I have a cat, as you just saw, and she likes to get into everything. And at night she likes to get up on this desk while I'm sleeping and stomp around. So yeah, I have to put everything away. <laughs> this is interesting. It's uh, kind of matte or satin finish, silver and gold tone, little loops. Um, on a kind of velvety cord. I don't know. Some of these cords, this fabric cords, can kind of get kind of funky. This one looks okay, but uh, I might switch it to like a silver or gold tone chain. See what I've got in stock. Dinner bell. Cling, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's this piece down here? Just a couple of pieces. Ew, it's got hairs in it. Gross. Eee. Well, I might put this on a different chain. This is three strand necklace, very fine silver tone chain. Um, this cross pendant with looks like green enamel, little purple rhinestone, or green and purple enamel. Yeah, it kind of looks stained glass. See how it's see through? My cat is batting me in the back of my head with her murder mittens. <laughs> cat, seriously. Ooh, that's prettier when you put it up to the light. Let's see. See, the colors all pop. Nice. Yeah, it's starting to be Tangle City. Yikes. But I have not made a dent. Oh, and here's another one of those weird bangly things. I said, is this a bracelet or what is it? See, it's got rhinestones on the outside. It's just, it seems too small to be a bracelet. I don't know. Don't know. Maybe I'll Google lens it later to see if anything pops up. Maybe it was a necklace at one point and it all fell apart. I don't know. Oh, this is a bracelet. So, little silver tone chain and the little wire wrap loops. This is kind of the idea of what I want to do. You know, I think I could still do the wire wrap loops, these simple loops. You know, one day I could just do the, all the little charms, and then another day I could actually make the bracelets and um, necklaces. I've got a bunch of the chain and the pins and the beads all on the way. So this is a little pink tone. Uh, I think it's uh, glass and acrylic and some silver tone charms, like a little butterfly. That's real sweet. Yikes. This has to go into craft or be restrung. It's on elastic, but the elastic is not elasticy anymore at all. It's very, ooh, yeah, it's very brittle. But these are nice beads, nice glass beads, the kind of crisp, faceted crystal rondelles and little silver spacers. So I might turn that into something else. I'm trying to get stuff that aren't going to be all tangly wangly. Here's a little gold tone charm bracelet. This is like Alex Anani style. I don't know if that's who this is. Theirs are usually silver tone made with love. Uh, 
something used with energy technology. I don't know. And this one say Alex Anani. It is an Alex Anani. Okay, so they make them in gold tone too. So are Alex and Zani still around? I just am finding more and more of their pieces, mostly the silver tone ones and these um, thrift store jewelry lots. Is everybody getting rid of them because they don't like them anymore? Don't know. Uh, I wonder if this is liquid silver. It looks like silver tone bugle beads, but it almost feels like it could be sterling and little sea beads. And little amethyst color drops. But then this part looks very cheap. It's not sterling, so that's probably not sterling either. Man, I see a lot more cool things, but I just can't get to them. Changly, changly. Uh, what's this? Okay, another looks like handcrafted piece. We've got some bronzy colored seed beads. Come on, let's focus. Looks like some glass beads, some pearls. Some of these might be gemstone and then this little teardrop, like power shell. Little spring ring clasp. Why do you not want to focus? There. I like that. I love purple. Got a lot of purple in my wardrobe. Today I'm wearing a pink and purple camo t-shirt. It's amazing. <laughs> I think I got it on sale for $3 at Gap or... Geez, yeah, I think they have the Gap online. <laughs> Not a camel person, but I was like, hey, $3, it's pink. <laughs> Here's a key pendant on a chunky silver tone chain. Lobster claw clasp. So, oh, it's got some rhinestone accents. Could use a cleaning, but it's a problem with these big bundles of jewelry. They're all kind of mushed together and... These are inexpensive plasticky pearls. I was hoping at first they're going to be real sea pearls, but they're not. They're plastic. And there's this silver tone filigree pendant. That looks like two or three strands twisted together. With a silver tone lobster clasp and the extender. And didn't see any maker's mark. This one needs repair. This is a hematite necklace with a little fans, loads of hematite beads, but the what is this? this is like the fish hook clasp. Looks like it's missing part of the clasp. So, I might be able to fix that with just undo this loop, these little, what they, the clamshell bead tips. I could probably put a jump ring on the side and close that back up, take this off and put like a spring ring or lobster claws on this side and close it back up. Hopefully I can do that without this actually snapping off. If that happens, I'm going to have to restring the whole thing. Or put it in the crafts and let somebody else do with it. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? I think that's um, with the black mother of pearl. Come on, focus. There. Um, faux pearls. And this chunky silver chain. I 
really long. Does this have a clasp anywhere? It does. A lobster claw. Oops, so see a little hang tag. So let me see if I can see who made this. It's upside down. Uh, Cookie Lee? Who's Cookie Lee? Never heard of Cookie Lee. Have to look that one up. But that's nice. This could go in my mermaid bundle that I'm going to be lighting up. I just did, did I say I just did my first thread up um, DIY fabric bundle, which they say it's just for crafting or whatever, but it was all clothing. And I've got one or two kind of gowns, kind of one's a cornflower cornflower blue gown and one's kind of a looks like handmade light blue satin with lace gown and I'm trying to make lemonade out of lemons uh, I don't think anybody would buy them as gowns but if I say hey mermaid core and do I have the jewelry for you yes I do <laughs> that might work so I don't know I've been having okay luck selling these theme bundles so I'll try it with the clothing. So I'm trying to look at this. Oh, Sugar Fix. So this is a multi-strand necklace from Sugar Fix. This is faux turquoise. It's all acrylic, all plastic. It's not even dyed halide. It almost look now. So I have to laugh because halide, blue dyed halide was the faux turquoise of the day and now they're making plastic faux dyed halite <laughs> it's like okay it's getting a bit ridiculous but it does make it lightweight and it's got gold tone little spacers in between and this little gold tone lobster clasp with the extender and there's the sugar fix tag it might be upside down don't know but yeah plastic imitating halite which is imitating turquoise mm-hmm so 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 ho 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 <laughs> oh it's a big chunky thing i don't know if i can get this out maybe not it's all tangly Wait, 48 minutes yeah have to pick a stopping point. Oh, maybe I can open this one. There you go. So this is a stretchy snake gold tone kind of snake. What do they call this? Snake choker. Uh, some red enamel. It's got this fold over clasp. I think I saw a maker's mark. Let me get my loop out. Oh, there's people arguing right outside my window in my apartment. It's like, please go away. <laughs> Monet. Hey, I know Monet. Let's see. Oh, there it is. See, Monet. Hello. Ooh, I took my nail polish off the other day and I forgot to put any on. My nails look horrible. Apologies. <laughs> Guess I wasn't planning on doing another video. I had four days off for Memorial Day weekend and I've been doing catching up on a lot of my unboxing videos and online listings and um, yeah, I didn't think I'd be doing another video. Not prepared. This looks like it could be dyed shell. Feels a little bit cold. Feels like shell. See, it's got pearly. Or it could be plastic. But it almost feels like shell to me. Let's see how it's got that. Almost like mother of pearl that's been dyed. Don't know. And a silver tone chain with a lobster. There, that's a better look. Oh no, 
looks like acrylic. It just doesn't sound like acrylic. It sounds more and feels more like shell. I just wish this would focus better. This one stretchy bracelet, a silver tone metal, kind of moonstone glass. Stones or white opal stones. It's nice. It doesn't look, looks like it's getting bigger. <laughs> it's starting to explode out of the bag. Looks like it's growing instead of decreasing. Yeah, there's a lot of change. So this is what I couldn't see in the pictures. All of the bigger stuff was kind of hiding this center portion, which is a lot of chains. I think it's gonna, yeah, that's all tangly. Tangly, tangly. Uh, okay. Here's some more, ooh. Is this another piece caught on it? Yes, hang on. There. This is all plastic, acrylic beads, kind of a emerald green, and all these little wire loops all connecting t to one another. Kind of like a bib, almost a floral pattern bib. Um, the gold tone curb chain or whatever that's called. Lobster clasp. And uh, even has an extender. Don't think I see any maker's mark. Hmm. This is really long. It's just these kind of peacock color, glass beads, faceted rondelles, kind of a black or a navy with the AB coating and with C beads in between. But it's just super, super long. There's no clasp. You can just fit it over your head. Um, looks like you could double it too. I would almost use this in crafts to make a bunch of bracelets and necklaces, maybe even earrings, you know. I like my bracelets and necklaces to have actual clasps. I don't know if I would always like them like this, but I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with this. Those are some really nice beads. I really like those beads. So, this will be determined. Here's another one of these stretch rhinestone bracelets. The other one with a and a white opal. And this one's got just clear, so, you know, you could stack them together. I like this kind of bracelet that fits pretty close to the wrist. I get really annoyed with bracelets that flop all up and down your arm. But to me, that's pretty secure. Let's see, 53 minutes. And this is a glass pearl necklace. Um, not real pearls, but not plastic either. Glass pearls are heavier, you have better weight, so you have better drape to your pieces. Um, bronze, kind of brown, bronzy color with little silver tone beads in between. And it's graduated, so it gets bigger and smaller. Silver tone chain, lobster claw with an extender. Don't see any maker's mark. Every time I pull a piece, I'm like, please don't tangle, please don't tangle. Here's a super long necklace. You could probably double it. It's 
bunch of seed beads and a bunch of kind of brick red brown is that tiger's eye yeah that might be actual gemstone i think that might be tiger's eye and then that's very plasticky looking i can see the seam these little spacers and if that's glass or rose quartz more looks like tiger's eye seed beads and then you get into some reddish orange glass beads and then it just goes and repeats itself but it does have a lobster clasp and the extender it's very long you could probably double it if you wanted Here's another little stretch cord bracelet. Does it say enough? Or is it the name of the... No. It says enough, but I think it's the name of the... Maker mark. Finished. Enough. Oh, I can't tell. But the elastic is getting ooh, dangerously close to... Not being elasticy anymore, so that would go into crafts, or I might restring it. I wonder if that's wood. Hmm. Oh, huh, 57 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be wrapping it up soon. So, this is part one of my 20 pound mixed jewelry lot from shopgoodwill.com i'll do this last one i've got the fish hook clasp close it yes looks like uh, i was gonna say glass beads but those look like some kind of gemstone and hematite silver tone I wonder, just some kind of, hmm, jasper maybe? Yeah, they look like gemstone. Some kind of gemstone. So I think I'm going to wrap that up for today. So I still have quite a bit to go with my 20 pounds of mixed jewelry. A lot of rhinestones in it. Here's what I have so far. Like I said, a lot of this stuff I'll probably be listing for sale on my eBay store. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. That way I know people are watching these videos and I can continue to make more. You can always hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification anytime I've got new content to watch on YouTube. Um, if you don't see any of the stuff you're interested in on my eBay store or if haven't had a chance to list it yet, you could reach out to me, sales at thecreativecottage.net. Let me know which video you're watching, timestamp of the item or items you're interested in, and a brief description, and we can start the conversation. And this information will be in the description box below the video. So again... This is Lynn Smythe from The Creative Cottage. Stay tuned for the remaining videos where I continue with this 20-pound lot of mixed jewelry from shopgoodwill.com. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.